Russia beware. Ukraine's got a powerful weapon in its arsenal that has the accuracy of a sniper and can repel even the most formidable enemy. Meet the American Gamma missiles, heavy artillery that's been strategically placed in Ukraine to send a clear message to Russian forces. Batch after batch, the United States has loaded Ukraine with these missiles, making it clear that this conflict is no longer Ukraine's alone but a battle of many nations fighting indirectly by supporting Ukraine with vital supplies. Supporting Ukraine does mean standing against Russia, though. And now the nations on Ukraine's side could be in danger of an invasion themselves, particularly Poland and Finland, which both share borders with Russia to keep the Russian forces far away from their borders. These two nations are arming themselves with the same weapon that Ukraine has been gifted by the US, the GM Alaris missiles. If anything, this is a testament to just how crucial this weapon is in dealing with threats. Recognizing that with great power and demand comes great responsibility, the US has now awarded a contract worth $476.8 million to Lockheed Martin in a bid to handle supply shortages and feed allies with enough GM lorries, missiles and launchers, according to the latest news. On Friday, October 21, 2022, it was announced that the US Army had contracted Lockheed Martin to build M278 to multiple launch rocket systems more or less for short in a contract worth $476.8 million. This M272 Planck Mass LAS is an upgraded variant of the original M270 million res artillery launcher that fires a wide range of precision missiles, including the Miller S Attack Arms Precision Strike Missile and the brand new Extended Range Gamel S missiles, which boast double the range of its predecessors. The contract for these launchers came after a surge in military spending by allies, particularly those in close proximity to Russia, such as Poland and Finland, to countries that have backed Ukraine since the start of the Russian aggression. Polish Defense Minister Mario's Black Jack attested to this publicly, confirming that the surge in spending in Poland was triggered by the Russian invasion of Ukraine and that the Polish army must be able to independently defend and deter enemies based on its own defensive potential to maximize this defensive potential. Poland has arranged the purchase of six additional Patriot missile air defense system batteries, multiple short-range surface-to-air missile systems, $4.74 billion worth of heavy U.S. battle vehicles, including Abrams tanks and about 500 Planck Mass 142 high-mobility artillery, rocket systems or HIMARS. The HIMARS is the main artillery launcher that's being used by Ukraine against Russia armed with a Gmail RC missiles. Although there have been arguments on whether or not the more lethal attackers should also be sent to Ukraine. More on these in a minute or two for now. Back to Poland and Finland. As Poland fortifies its army, so does Finland. The government of Finn, they made a request to purchase up to 400 Gamblerice warheads worth $535 million. This request was recently granted by the U.S. State Department because, well, it is general knowledge at this point that it is only possible to take on Russia with lethal, unstoppable, heavy artillery like the Gamma Lores missiles. The GMLRS missiles are currently up there as the poster child for American persistent responsive all-weather rapidly deployable long-range surface-to-surface precision strike capability. In fact, the missiles are so accurate that they've earned the nickname of the 70km sniper rifle and earned a reliability rating exceeding 98%. The GMA Lorenzo's this precision to the GPS-aided guidance added to an internal navigation system which combines to guide the gamblers sound its path to its target to deliver the destruction that comes with a 200 pounds high explosive unitary warhead. This warhead also contains an additional 51 pounds of PBX-109 high explosive in a steel blast fragmentation case to split 182,000 preformed tungsten fragments, resulting in increased lethality against personnel and light armored vehicles. Still, 
the weapon continues to be upgraded to be more lethal and have a further range. These upgrades have resulted in the development of three different variants of the missile that Gmail, RC. Alternative Warhead and the latest extended range. Gmail S, the Gmail or S unitary and Gmail or Alternative Warhead are similar in almost every way. But while the Gmail RC unitary integrates a 200 pounds unitary warhead, the Gmail R's alternative warhead wields a 200 pounds class fragmentation warhead. The third variant, the extended range Gmail RC, is a new developmental variant that offers an extended range of up to 93 miles in all weather conditions. It also incorporates a larger motor and has enhanced maneuverability due to tail-driven control. All three Gmail address variants maintain a significant level of commonality and can all be deployed by either the M142 HIMARS or the larger M270 Miller, as the HIMARS can load up to six Gmail RC rockets at a time. This configuration has been seen repeatedly in Ukraine, as the US continues to send the HIMARS in batches of four to Ukraine. After five batches, Ukraine has now been supplied 20 high marks by the US and they've gone straight to work. In fact, by the second batch, when Ukraine had eight high marks, they were able to bombard the Russian forces with enough Gmail RC missiles to destroy 30 Russian command stations and ammunition storage facilities. This dramatically reduced the intensity of Russian shelling and slowed their advance in eastern Ukraine. Recognizing the lethality of the high marks and the fact that they would only keep coming, Russian Defense Minister Sarjai Shoigu ordered his forces to prioritize destroying them, although that quest was unlikely to succeed from the start because the high marks is based on the new five-ton, highly mobile and rugged family of medium tactical vehicles of the U.S. Army. This means that it's powered by a 290-horsepower Caterpillar 3000. 115 attack, 6.6-liter diesel engine to give the three crewed high marks a maximum operational range of 300 miles and a top speed of 53 miles per hour. The high mass simply could not be cornered and thus could have its crew take shots, then sprint off to another vantage point fast enough for the Russian forces to be doing more, playing a game of hide and seek then firing at their opposition. All these capabilities and more give the high marks a heavy unit cost of $3.8 million, making it more costly than the $2.3 million military, despite the email address having 200% more firepower capability. In conclusion, the American Gamla missiles have been strategically placed in Ukraine to support their fight against Russia, leading to neighboring countries like Poland and Finland also arming themselves with the weapon. Upgrades to the missile continue to be made for increased lethality and range.